Hi everyone, uh, Sarah Laidlaw here. I wanted to do a video today um, to tell you a bit of a story. And I heard this yesterday when I was watching some videos online and I it really hit home with me um, just about the nature of our business. Um, not necessarily a specific business, but just in the MLM industry anyway so hopefully um, this will be able to help you um, just put things into perspective for you regardless of what industry that you are in. Uh, I may refer off my notes um, so if I'm looking down and things that that's what that will be. Um, but this story is the story of the sower. Now the sower was a man who was very ambitious and very confident that he had best seeds that would produce the best crop and he knew that he had the ability to make a lot of people happy with this crop that he was going to produce. So first of all he goes out and starts sowing his seed in the field and all of a sudden after the first day all these birds fly into the field and start eating his crop that's not of his making and he has two options here in this instance. He can either chase the birds out of the field um, which would then distract him from his goal and his, you know, his chance of sowing as many seeds as he can to, to get the best crop that he can or he can just go, hmm, isn't that interesting? and carry on sewing, and that's what he did. He carried on sewing because he knew that he had so many seeds that he had to sow in his field that there were there not enough birds to be able to steal all his crop. So he carries on. And then the next day he goes back out again and starts sewing again, but he's in a different field and he's sowing his seed on a rocky ground and some of the seeds start to sprout and wither and die because the ground conditions aren't good enough. Now here, he could think, oh no, um, I, 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 can't, I can't carry on sowing my seeds because the ground's not good and all my, all my seeds are going to die and this isn't good. Or he can take a step back and go, hmm, isn't that interesting? and he can carry on sowing his seed because he knows that when that seed survives and thrives properly, that seed is going to be the best crop ever. So from there, he's learning to discipline his disappointment and not letting it get to him because he knows and he is confident enough that his crop is going to be the best crop available. So then, the next day, he starts sowing his seed again, and this time he's on a thorny ground. And when the, the crop starts to sprout, these thorns intertwine round, the, round the, the, the crop and start splitting it and choking it, and some of the seeds die. And here he could go, oh, no, another setback. Here, all the thorns are killing all my plants. I don't know what to do. Or he could take a step back and go, isn't that interesting? Because he knows that the crop that does survive, that's thorny ground and not let that thorny ground get to him, then that will be the best crop. And what then the next day he goes back and he's sowing his seed again and the ground's perfect and the seeds start to grow and it produces the best crop ever. And he stands back and goes, hmm, isn't that interesting? Because he, know, he knew from the very beginning that his crop would be the best crop, but he didn't let the birds get it. He didn't let the stony ground that killed his crop get it. He didn't let the thorns get it and he knew 
that when he kept going and kept trying to sow his seed, he would be able to do it. And eventually his crop was the best crop that, that, that he knew that it could be. And I guess the moral of that story is that whenever you're in an industry like the one that we're in, you are going to get the birds pecking at you and stealing your crop and the, the rocky ground and the negative attitude and the people telling you that you can't do it and everything like that. But you have to persevere because you just made a decision whenever you joined the company that you joined that you believed in the products and the services enough that you could do this and you should stand by that and you shouldn't let anyone's negativity or attitude or venomous tongue affect you in that way this is something that you should continue to push on at and every time that you feel like quitting you should just think of the sewing man he he persevered and he carried on and even a modern day version of that would be uh, Lord Sir Alan Sugar think how many times he created that Amstrad computer if he had quit every time that, that had failed then he would never be in the position that he's in today so I wanted to let you know of the story that really got me and affected me and I wanted to make a video of it to share it with you because I just thought it was lovely and hopefully that will motivate you for anything that you decide to do in the future. Okay? Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, send me an email, sazzo at hotmail.com, S-A-Z-Z-O at hotmail.com. Um, until the next video, bye-bye.